Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all in uh, good health in quarantine and welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make money in free to play and it's no skill so you don't need any levels and basically all you need is a starting cash stack so I've got 100k on this character to start with. So let's get into the video. Okay, for the first method we're going to be buying cow hides from the Grand Exchange and then tanning them at the tanning guy in Alcarid, which is here on the map. So I'm just going to put in an offer for some cow hides and then I'm just going to make my way down to Alcarid to get ready to tan some hides. Okay, we're here at Alcarid. The the hides have bought. I've still got my change from the 100k in my inventory. I'm just going to put these in the bank. And then I'm going to withdraw a full inventory and make my way up to the tanning man. And as you can see, the tan, the cow hides are worth 3,159 before they are tanned. And then we just talk to our tan man, the tan man. Um, and he will tan them for us. Make sure you do the soft leather, not the hard leather. Because the soft leather sells for more. So after we've tanned them, they are worth a little bit more. They are worth 3,942. So you're making about 800 GP per run. So I'm just going to do these cow highs and get back to you. I don't know why, but uh, cow hides are lighter when they have been tanned so I don't know how I don't know don't know what magic this is but uh, yeah the uh, the point I'm trying to make is that you want to run back after the cow hides have been tanned for efficiency so I've just sold off the soft levers in the GE just gonna see how much we've made <laughs> So we've made 128, well we've made 28k, um, it took me about 20 minutes to do all that, so that works out to be about 90k an hour, up to 150k, because the prices can vary in the Grand Exchange. Yeah! So the next one on the list is buying items from the Grand Exchange that are sold in shops throughout free to play. So as you can see there's from Old School Runescape Wiki, Wiki there's quite a few shops that sell, well that will buy items off you for usually a little bit of profit. If you click into one of those you can see here that you can see the Grand Exchange price and what the shop buys it for. So you just need to have a, have a little bit of research and <clears throat> have a look which shops I've got the best profit and then buy see if you can buy the items on the Grand Exchange so I have some mithril swords here that I'm trying to sell to the shop and um, make sure you keep an eye on the stock levels and basically you just hop worlds when you start losing money from selling them to the shop so I'll get back to you once I've finished this I'm pretty sure that this stuff's pretty heavily I mean these plate legs, every single world I've been into, it's been full. Like I've only had like ten plate legs and I've not sold any. I've been in like every world you can possibly imagine and there isn't anywhere that sells plate legs. I mean oh hello. Right, I'm gonna sell sell these, sell these, quick, 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 quick. Okay, that's enough. That's the, that is literally the first world I've seen. That has not got plate legs already sold to it. So, right. So, I've just finished selling off all the items to the shops. I didn't mess up, to be honest. Um, I accidentally sold 50 mithril swords to the sword shop, but we've actually made 27k. Um, it took me it took me about 10 minutes to um, to complete this. Um, even though I was waiting a little while to sell the plate legs, so we're looking at about 100 to 300k per hour. Obviously, 
That's if you find an item that no one else is doing. Yeah! Next on the list is buying team capes from the sellers in the wilderness. Um, I did this eight years ago and it's still a pretty solid money maker now because clans still buy team capes. So you can go on old school RuneScape wiki and you can see where the sellers are in the wilderness and you can also use the GE tracker which I'll link both in the description and you can see which team capes are selling for what prices and then you just basically need to work out which team cape will be best for you to get. So I've done this team cape um, as you can see you don't really need to bring that much money you can probably bring about 2k with you and just basically run to the guy buy team capes and then run back and bank them and just do this until you've run out of money basically um, so I'll see you guys at the GE once I've got some more team capes okay so I'm about to sell the team capes but I've noticed that they are selling for pretty high I can sell them for 1400 if I want and I'll can just wait for them to sell but I'm just gonna insta sell them based on the GE track price and they've insta sold at 500 each so that's about 1100 GP no it's not it's uh, 11,500 Jesus so yeah the profit I made was about 115k an hour, but if I had actually sold them for the price they were going for, I could have made about 360, 360k per hour. Yeah! Next method on the list is buying steel arrows from the ranging shop in Barrock. It can be found here on the map, and basically what you want to do is buy steel arrows until the shop has 850 left in stock because if you buy any more after that then you'll start to lose money so all you do really is hop worlds and buy out the uh, steel arrows until you run out of money and then go to the grand exchange which is where I will see you guys next okay so this took a little bit longer than anticipated um, Jag Jagex has got a world hop um, restriction on at the moment and basically if you world hop too many times you get kicked and you can't log back in for a little while um, the longest it took me to log back in was about 30 minutes but I've heard people waiting 4 hours so I actually wait until the next day to finish this one off but I recorded the um, the actual gameplay time that it took me to buy all these arrows and it only took about 10 minutes so I'm just gonna sell these off for the grand exchange um, I've insta sold them and we have made 43k in about 10 minutes so that gives this method 120 to 430k an hour and um, that's if you get lucky and don't have anyone else doing it yeah! Okay, so this is the method I actually did to get my first bond. Um, I ended up buying about 4 million feathers. <laughs> but um, so basically, you go to Port Serim, which is here on the map, and you just buy these feather boxes. They buy for around 2 GP each feather. You get 100 feathers in each box, and you sell the feathers on the GE for 3 GP each so you're only making 1 GP per feather but as you can see you can get quite a few feathers pretty quickly so I'm just gonna spend this cash stack and get back to you guys once I've finished and if you don't want to keep on hopping worlds maybe the restrictions are still on um, you can actually just use the game to open the boxes for you so you click on one box and let the game do the rest and by the time you've the game's finished opening opening up the feather packs the shop will have restocked so you can just sit in one world and basically afk it so i've just finished up here um the price of feathers is 3 gp each so i'm just going to price check them and see how much we've made so we made 33 and a half k in about six minutes so this method is 300 to 400k 
but that depends on if they sell straight away. Sometimes they don't, so you might have to wait for a day or two for them to sell, but obviously don't invest all your money all at once. Yeah! Okay, so for the final method, the sixth method is basically you become a PK shop. So what you do is buy PK items, like you can see in my inventory, and you go to the Edgeville Bank in World 308 or 316 and you sell PK items to players who can't be asked basically to go to the GE and you know you make a little bit of profit on each sale. Um, I will admit this isn't a solid money maker like sometimes I stood there for a few hours and made you know like 10k and sometimes I stood there for like 10 minutes and made like 500k so it's just um, <clears throat> it's just something to do really. I do it whilst I'm alking so you can see some of the sales I made here I made them in about 20 minutes and you know I got some pretty dull ones and then I got a pretty good one at the end so I ended up making about 150k in 20 minutes um, but obviously if I didn't get the the Rune 2H sale then I probably would have not made much at all um, so yeah I just want to point out as well that this you know you're better off just taking what people offer you don't get greedy um, because it's a bit of a dick move and um, you'll never get any sales and you'll probably make a lot of enemies so that is the final one so there we have it guys um, that they are my money making methods in free to play without any skills um, I do a couple of these all the time really when I'm in free to play um, if you like the video please leave a like and if you have any suggestions or any comments about the video obviously leave a comment and I'll just put up on screen the upcoming videos I've got planned and I shall see you guys in the next one.